A handful of indigenous IT firms can brag of being global, developing solutions for local clients and other in 40 countries spread across at least four continents. One of those local tech companies is Kraft Silicon, whose journey began in 2000 with Indian-born founder and CEO Kamal Budabati, who decided to make Kenya his new home. I got an opportunity to work for a company in Kenya. Um, job was not so good and uh, I didn't like what I was doing. Um, they figured out that I was doing something in the side. Obviously they were not so happy, so they, they sent me back to India. But starting an IT company in the early days was not a walk in the park, as the tech guru attest. I, I remember uh, I had a friend who used to work at one of the internet service providers. So any time when I had to do something on internet which consumes a bit of a bandwidth, I used to sweet talk to him, he used to allow me to work at his offices uh, past midnight. So I would go there, work whole night and come back in the morning. Because getting internet was not that easy. Plus it was also very, very expensive. Coming from a country where the adoption of IT was a necessity, starting up in Kenya was a challenge. Kenya is where India used to be a couple of years back, uh, seven, eight years back, where IT was uh, catching up in India. And now this is the same place where Kenya is. Kenya is now catching up with the IT. And the local environment is getting more and more conducive for the IT companies. Craft Silicon started with an aspiration of developing tailor-made solutions for microfinance institutions, which Budabati says was lacking. Such solutions include developing softwares for clients in the financial sector. I think the bank had smaller budgets. It was a small-sized bank. At that time, a couple of uh, small financial institutions were planning to become banks. So they had no IT budgets and they would have continued with whatever that they were doing with the old product. But here when they saw an opportunity, I guess they, they felt, let's give it a try. Locally developed softwares will cut down on firms contracting international tech firms who sometimes never understood the market dynamics and whose pricing were rather expensive. These products were not uh, customized to what Kenyan needs were. They were very expensive, um, uh, plus uh, I think uh, even the customers, the banks and the microfinances in the country had no faith in the local software companies. The firm has developed solutions for retail banking, cooperative banking, microfinance solutions, Islamic banking, alternative channels, which include the use of mobile phones, ATMs, bill payments and switch solutions. Kamal says besides having a workforce of 200 locally and 300 in India and a client base of 300 globally, mainly in the corporate, the growing mobile space provides a chance for application development for direct end users. So what inspires the salary of one shilling a month he earns? The model that I think we want to uh, take is you, you benefit if the company benefits. You know, company don't have to keep paying salaries to the top executives if the company is not performing. So we earn if the company performs. For Tech Zone, I'm Ronald Willie.